I posted a picture of a bench I made on Instagram and I got a video request on how to make it. Very simple, so let's take a look and see one, what you need to make it and how we make it. What you'll need is six logs, kind of smaller ones. This is going to be used for your tripod. And then you'll need a bigger log, and I've actually used really big ones, or you can use somewhat smaller ones like that one to be the bench part of it. Also, you'll need some sort of cordage so you can lash together the tripods. I won't go over these knots in details. You can reference my knot section if you want to pick any of those up. But essentially what you're going to do is you're going to make a clove hitch to begin with. And a clove hitch is, again, kind of like the tripod, is one of those good core aspects to know when out here playing around. So I'm going to tie on my clove hitch, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to weave this paracord in and out between these three pieces of logs here. Very easy to do, so I'm just going to go under the middle one, and then back through and over the end one, around, under. Now you're going over the middle one. Keep these tight. That's all you're going to do throughout this process is weave these through. Now I'm going around, under the middle one. and back around this end piece here. I will generally do this about three times. Now at this point what we're going to do is what's known as frapping. And that is we're going to take your working end here and we're going to wrap it around this way in between each sets of these logs. What this will do is it'll really add some strength to your tripod. Again, we'll not pull those nice and tight. And I generally go with the rules of three here. I'll go three times around. So you can see what I'm doing there. Haven't done it to this side yet. See the difference? Now that I've frapped this side, I'm just going to rotate around the back and now I'm going to go after this side right here. There's several ways you can finish this off. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use another clove hitch. with the quick release because what I'm going to do afterwards is I will retrieve this cordage so I can use it another time. Now we've got the logs tied together we're going to make the actual tripod part. You'll try to make the best triangle you can with each points of the log of the logs and there is a very basic tripod. And that is how you make this simple little bush chair, bench, whatever you want to call it. Now one thing that I found in doing this is you kind of have to uh, mess with the tripods a little bit to get the best stability. So don't throw it on there and then go sitting down on it right away. But you can see, if you get it right, it'll hold up pretty well. In addition to that, if you've got more people, just go ahead, take a longer log move these tripods out and then you've got a bigger space to sit on and there goes a squirrel right there that is that is truly one of, mo one of those moments like squirrel I'm so easily distracted up here anyway hope you guys enjoyed that uh, I'm gonna have me some breakfast <laughs>